Hi, my name's Paul. Welcome to Two Minute Advent as we count down the days to a very special time of year. People celebrate Advent in lots of different ways. Some people have Advent calendars and some churches have Advent candles. Last time, if you remember, I was telling you about Grandpa Joe and his grandson Charlie, how they were discovering what the Advent candles were all about. The next week, they turned up at church and grandson and granddad sat together. And as they watched, Charlie nudged his granddad. Hey, granddad, they've got two candles of hope this week. <laughs> Grandpa smiled. No, he said, that's the candle of hope. They're lighting a new one this week and it's called the candle of peace. Oh, said Charlie. Why is it called the candle of peace? Ah, said granddad. Let me tell you all about it. You see, long ago, in the old days of the Bible, long before God put that star in the sky around Bethlehem, God told his prophets. Um, Grandad, what's a prophet? Ah, a prophet is God's messenger, said Grandpa Joe. And God gave them a very special message. He told Micah, in the old days of the Bible, that Jesus would be born in Bethlehem. And he told Isaiah the name of his special king. His name should be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, the Everlasting Father and the Prince of Peace. You see, long before Jesus even came into the world, he was called the Prince of Peace. That even though sometimes we do things wrong, it makes us sad. It breaks that relationship with God. But Jesus came bring glory to God and peace on earth. And he could do that because of what he was going to do. Not just by saying good things or by doing good deeds, but he's gonna do it by dying on a cross and coming back to life again for all the wrong things that we've done, the Bible says. So that when we put our trust in him, the Bible says that he brings peace between people and God when they place their trust in him. And that's why we have the candle of peace to help us to remember who Jesus is. He really is the one who's called the Prince of Peace. Well, that's all we've got time for today on Two Minute Advent. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time for the next Advent Candle.